Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 21b. The question says, open the file webpage1.htm and view this web page in both the text editor and browser. Improve this web page by emboldening the word bold, setting the word italic to an italic font, setting the 3 in x3 as superscript and setting the 2 in h2 as subscript so we're going to be using some tags now to edit text all right so i'm going to open the 20, uh, chapter 21 and then of course open the web page the web page one.htm okay so i'm going to double click on it because already is, is already set as the default to be open with google chrome so i'm going to double click on that to open it with google chrome okay it's here already okay so i'm going to make this word bold make this italics and then of course uh, make this a uh, superscript that's a three in in x3 is superscript and of course make this two here um a subscript okay so i'll go back there right click on the file and then op open with um note file okay so now um the, the next thing i'm going to do is to save this as tax 21 B okay, so I'm gonna name it as tax 21B. Always remember to have HTM okay. This time around, let me just have HTM this time. So, HTM extension okay. If you don't save it this way, it's not going to open in a browser okay. So, first of all, I'm going to start for my location. I have already a web design folder that I, I have created and I've created a folder called tax 21B. So, I'm going to save it inside there okay. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make use the B tag, change this bold, and then end it with B tag again. And then for italic, I'm going to also adjust this to I to make it italic as we run the code. So I'm going to make it italic, sorry, italic here. And then of course uh, the X3 here. So I'm going to have the superscript that's sup i'm going to open it here and then of course end it here sup again okay i'm going to have the forward slash here and then of course within the h2o i'm going to have a sub just to push it down subscript here that's sub and then end it with also a sub tag okay good so when you're done you press Ctrl S to just to see it. Okay, so if I go back to my code and then uh, reload, okay, it's not going to actually load. So I'm going to go back to where I saved my file, my original task 21, 21B. Okay, so of course it's been saved as um, to be to be picked up by web browser. So I'm going to open that and then I see, you see that this has changed. Okay. So we have the bold, the word bold, bold, and then italics, and then of course this has been raised also. Okay. So uh, of course I think H2O two of them with uh, as noun subscript. So I'm going to adjust the code now. Okay. Let me see my mistake. Okay. As you can see, it's not supposed to be here. So what I'm going to do is to push this guy, uh, copy it, and probably paste it at the back here, which is the O. Okay. So what I need as a subscript is just the two right there. Okay, good stuff. So when I make that changes, I will see before I'll go back to my page and then refresh that and then it has taken the shape that we want. Okay, so what we need is just the two to be subscript. All right, so that is how you can perform this. So if you have any question, you can leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer that. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.